with Capcom's blockbuster release of the Resident Evil 2 remake having to take the gaming community by storm and executing a very well-rounded remake in the Resident Evil 2 entry, many fans within the Resident Evil community are highly anticipating the next installment of the Resident Evil franchise, which is highly looking like Resident Evil 8 right now and being the next title in line for Capcom to release in the Resident Evil franchise. But the question lingers, what exactly is Capcom planning on introducing in the Resident Evil 8 video game in comparison to Resident Evil 7 and the Resident Evil 2 remake. And with that, one thing has been promising within the Capcom developmental team, and that's the team over at Capcom have been dedicated to not only advancing the intense horror experience shown in Resident Evil 7 and the Resident Evil 2 remake in ways that don't compromise the story, graphics, and or gameplay, but more or less as we begin to approach Resident Evil 8, chances are the story may actually end up following the plot points in which we we've seen in Resident Evil 7. And the reason why this is, is because an individual that goes by the name of Evil VR on Twitter is the same individual that originally put out early information and spoilers for the Resident Evil 2 remake as he went on to post a very interesting tweet as it goes on to state Resident Evil 8, interesting update. There is a debate whether the game should be Resident Evil 8 or as a spin-off title. Another update on this project is that they'll go with the third person after the praises the Resident Evil to remake received since E3 2018. As of course Evil VR continues, he goes on to post and I quote, also heard that Capcom will not launch Resident Evil 8 before launching the Resident Evil 3 remake. As he continues, no words if Resident Evil Code Veronica is even considered to be a remake, fans should also expect that Capcom has no interest in remaking or even retconning Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, and Resident Evil 6. The two games that are being focused on is the 3 remake and 8. As he continues, Resident Evil 8, from what I can gather, the setting for 8 will take place in a recent abandoned island where the secret laboratory is located. The story so far is to uncover the truth behind the creation of Evelyn as he continues, some concepts from 3.5 Hookman will be borrowed for 8. Hallucinations will play a big part, getting players confused on what's real and what's not. Still early, but so far, they've listed what they need for hashtag Resident Evil 8. So the narrative going forward here is the fact that now we understand that Resident Evil 8 will follow the events of Resident Evil 7, adapting a similar camera focus as seen in Resident Evil 2's remake, but also further elaborating and exploring the overall project that was of Evelyn and the mold creatures that we've seen in Resident Evil 7, as they also plan on giving us more of an in-depth first look as to what exactly happened involving the Baker family and how the mold came to be. Now through perspectives, this could be a good or a bad thing. That of course is heavily subjective based on your overall viewpoint of Resident Evil on whether or not you enjoyed or hated Resident Evil 7, but nonetheless, they look to be adapting a different style. We could see returning characters actually play a big part going forward in the Resident Evil video games as seen with Resident Evil 7 as Chris Redfield made an appearance, but even now, one must beg the question what exactly is going on involving the mold and Evelyn, which raises the biggest question who is behind the creation of Evelyn and the mold seen in Resident Evil 7. One of the biggest focuses for this game is that it may not be released for the PS4 and Xbox One. The reason for that is because Capcom has been developing this game since 2018, and potentially what this game could end up being is a next generation video game for the next-gen consoles, which to its own right I don't think is a bad thing considering the fact that we would be getting better graphics and more of an openness to the overall game itself and what they could do in expanding the game's world and giving us more depth as opposed to the limited consoles that we have now and what is to be expected for Resident Evil 8 is a bigger world-building platform and giving us more of an expansion as to what happened during the events of Resident Evil 7, what caused the events to actually transpire during that time, and giving us more answers as to the questions that we had for Resident Evil 7. So, by the end of all of this, I want to get your thoughts in the comment section below as to what you guys would like to see in Resident Evil 8, if you guys would more or less love to see a first-person perspective, third-person perspective, if you guys want brand new characters or older characters to return like Leon, Chris, and said individuals, 
Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Once more, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to never miss a single upload. Slap a like down below if you guys are stoked, ready, and excited for more Resident Evil content, including the inevitable Resident Evil 3 remake and Resident Evil 8. Big shout outs to my friend RedZX over on Twitter and YouTube for putting this video together. Make sure you guys go on ahead and check Check his channel out for more awesome content such as this. Thank you all so much for watching guys once more and I'll be seeing you all down the comment section below. Have a great day everybody. Peace.